Hey guys, it's Margaret from Let's Learn to Sew. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to hem knit fabric using a twin needle. If you're following along with our tutorial on how to draft and sew a t-shirt, this is the technique that we're going to be using on the bottom of our shirt and on the sleeves. I'm going to be showing you on some scrap. I need a twin needle that is made for stretch fabric, so it's going to say either stretch or ballpoint. I'm going to be using an easy hem. You can either use an easy hem or your seam gauge. And then optional is going to be some fusible webbing. The bottom of our shirt, I want a one inch hem. So what I'm going to do, we're going to pretend this is the edge of my t-shirt. From here on up would be the body of the shirt. This is the wrong side of the fabric. This is the right side of the fabric. I'm going to bring it up to that one inch marking. And I'm going to iron. actually pressing. Take the easy hem and we slide it down making sure that we're still at one inch and press again. Take the easy hem out and go over it one more time. Now you can either pin this in place or what I like to use is fusible webbing we're going to take a piece about the length of it, open this up just a little bit, slide it under. The reason I like this is because then I don't have to worry about pins at all, and I don't have to worry about my hem coming undone, moving around, anything like that. Once you have your hem pressed and either pinned into place or ironed into place, we're going to take it over to the sewing machine. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my regular needle out. So we insert just the way we insert a regular needle. I have two different color threads up here on my spool pins. Sometimes a machine will have a spool pin in the back. Just check your owner's manual or they even make stands that sit behind your machine to do this. I'm using two different colors of thread only so that I can show you guys the difference. You would really want your threads to match in both the left and right side of the needle and down in your bobbin. Follow your instructions for your machine for using a twin needle. For mine, I'm just going to follow the exact same thread path that I do for the other thread. So go ahead and get your machine threaded up. Got both of my threads down here. Move the other one behind the thread guide. And you cannot use a automatic needle threader for this. You're going to have to thread them uh, by hand. Now we're going to be sewing on the right side. We know that this is one inch over. So we want to find that one inch mark. And stay lined up. You may have a foot that has a guide or a guide that you can put in here and find that useful. Go ahead and lower your presser foot and start stitching. You want to make sure that you go slow. Once you get to the end, go ahead and raise your presser foot and trim your threads. So now I'm back over at my table and you can see there's the yellow. It kind of blends in a little more than I'd want it to. There's the other needle thread. Now we're flipped over to the back side and you can see that that bobbin thread wrapped between those two top threads in the twin needle and it enclosed that raw edge of our fabric. Now, it doesn't look exactly like the back side of a t-shirt from the store, but it is a nice clean finish. It does encase that raw edge on the back side and give you that double line of stitching on the front. This is the easiest way that I have found to get a nice clean hem when working with knit fabric if you don't have a serger or a cover stitch machine. If you have any questions about how to sew a hem using a twin needle on a regular sewing machine, let me know down in the comments section and I'll be happy to answer them. If you enjoyed the video, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up and be sure to hit the subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber. And don't forget to visit letslearntosew.com, your pattern making and sewing headquarters.